will stop you, they sang, and they did. Shell's first annual shareholders meeting in London, disrupted today by climate crisis protesters. Oh, we are there are no dividends from pollution. All this just a day after a Shell safety consultant resigned, accusing the company of saying one thing on climate and doing another. My name is Caroline Dennett, and this is my resignation. And whatever they say, Shell is simply not winding down on fossil fuels. They're expanding with new exploration and extraction projects. Shell say they're investing billions in low carbon energy. Choose whatever negative superlative you want. The last seven years are the hottest on record, says the World Meteorological Organization. India and Pakistan still enduring a heat wave. An unseasonable March was India's hottest ever. Birds are falling from the sky with heat exhaustion. In the US, New Mexico's drought fuels the state's biggest wildfire on record. Spain swelters under drought and searing heat, and it's only late spring. Efforts to halt global warming at the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow last autumn brought leaders to tears. This is on your watch. Sorry. It's so important. But tonight, in their only global TV interview, US scientists explain why they've published a report saying there is a way to limit global warming to within the 1.5 Celsius goal. Alongside the biggest polluter carbon dioxide, deal with other key greenhouse gases, principally methane. The good news is that if we broaden our strategy to look at short-lived climate pollutants, things like methane that have a, you know, they, they are very potent climate forcers, but they don't last long in the atmosphere. So if we cut them, we can actually slow warming in the next decade. And so that's what's really exciting here, and that if we target methane. Methane from agriculture, belching cows, through landfill gas emissions, to methane leaks and flaring in the global gas and oil industries. All of it piling on the methane pollution load. But we can tackle it. We have the tools. Most of uh, the methane emissions are coming from a relatively small number of sources that are leaking methane. It's unintended and it's fixable. Because technology now allows us to see leaking methane, mostly in gas and oil installations. And once visible like this, low-tech solutions exist. Block the leak, solve the problem. Other gases are also significant, not least nitrous oxide from diesel engines. We already know it's a health and climate hazard in our cities. Here's what the report's authors say we need to do about it. We know that burning fossil fuels, diesel among them, kills 8 million people a year. So absolutely, you, know, you can put a filter on the end, but better yet, Let's not have that diesel engine. Let's replace it with some of these new technologies, electric vehicles that are becoming more available and accessible. So the key message, this is not an excuse to slow down the phase out of fossil fuels. It's a complementary strategy, and it gives the human race a fighting chance of saving the 1.5 Celsius goal and thus saving itself.